Hey you fuckers, I got some good news for you. So we finally have the launch date for Gundam Battle Operation 2 and it is going to be July 26th. That is exactly two weeks from today. Uh, so Japan is about half a day ahead of the US here so for us we're gonna be able to download and play the game uh, I think sometime uh, July 20 like in the evening July 25th something like that okay so let's talk about how we're gonna get the game so there are a few things you can do right now even though the game has not launched yet uh, here we are in a Japanese PlayStation account in the uh, the Japanese PlayStation store and I actually waited a day longer than everyone else to do this because uh, yeah it's just easier this way so if you look at the top area you will see on the right side there is an item for all the new Gundam Battle Operation 2 stuff so just go here and you'll see all the available material so this item on the right is what you want to grab right now so this is the pre-registration ticket uh, essentially what this is doing is saying uh, you're gonna tell the devs hey I'm really looking forward to downloading the game so I'm gonna get a pre-registration ticket what this gives you is a theme for your PS4 just lots of really cool like high resolution renders of like mobile suits and uh, hangar activity and stuff like that uh, the icons are different um, I'm gonna download this after I do the video and check it out it should be really cool and it also gives you a pre-launch version of the ground type Gundam I believe it, uh, from the looks of the picture I do think it has the ground type beam rifle so that will be uh, that will be very nice it will give you early access to beam type weapons that uh, that are not the beam spray gun <laughs> okay uh, so that's cool uh, everybody go out and grab this and these two items are yeah so these are just uh, starter packs I do intend to get both uh, so the uh, these do cost money uh, this one's free by the way and uh, the game itself is going to also be free to uh, it's gonna be free to play you don't have to pay to um, like uh, go on sorties or anything like that like like the previous game uh, they completely changed their income model but anyway uh, so uh, these are about uh, 3200 yen each I'm gonna buy both because I had intended on uh, paying $60 at launch uh, that's pretty much I'm trying to treat um, Gundam Battle Operation 2 as a full priced game so this uh, this is gonna let me do that so in this starter pack you get a uh, pre-launch version of the power gym uh, it looks like it does it in the picture at least it looks like it's holding the hyper bazooka Kai which is uh, the best weapon that goes with it so hopefully it gets that and none of its other weapons I'll be very annoyed if it has anything else uh, you also get a uh, Federation pilot uniform and it also comes with 30 tokens for the gotcha machine uh, that's the loot box in Gundam Battle Operation 2 and it takes uh, three tokens to run the loot box so this allows you to run the loot box ten times and this is the equivalent for the space nazi side uh, you get a you get a yeah Xeon uniform that looks like the like a desert color type version of the dwudge or it might be a dom tropen I don't know I can't tell the difference between those things and this also gives 30 tokens for the gotcha machine I think they should stack uh, yeah and just to clarify I, I'm sure these two are pre-launch versions which means they're gonna be uh, lower cost versions with uh, lower stats and uh, I think no customization slots compared to the standard versions uh, they just do that so that uh, the balance isn't completely broken like at launch I'm not sure if this will be a pre-launch version but it might be uh, let's see let's go ahead and open up one of these just to check it out okay so here's a nice picture if you go down here um, it will uh, it will verify for you that July 26 is the launch date this is when these pre-launch items will activate for you and what else is there yeah, that's definitely the beam rifle oh it's all that other stuff 
Yeah, this, um... I actually still can't read Japanese, <laughs> so this is gonna be tough for me too, guys. Uh, yeah, my plan is that, uh... Even though I'm going to be playing this in Japanese, I'm going to be making liberal use of Google Translate on my phone. That's what I was doing during the beta. And that should allow me to uh, at least navigate through the menus in a mildly less painful way than I did in the past. Oh, well, while we're on that note, um, there has not been any news about a, uh, a translation for the game into English. Uh, no news on that yet. And there has also been no news on any type of PC release. So right now it's just on PlayStation 4, only for the Japanese PlayStation Store, and I think also Hong Kong and Singapore, uh, nowhere else. Um, and I don't really expect to see anything outside of that for a long time, if ever. For the first game, I think the game was already like two or three years old before it expanded outside of Japan into the other territories and to be honest I think the developers are just uh, uh, they just don't really have the manpower or the funding to do anything like a PC port or an English translation but um, I guess with translation technology we have now that may not be necessary hopefully eventually this does bleed over into gaming consoles that would be absolutely fantastic but yeah, I think, uh, yeah, that's all the news for now. There has been a launch announcement a trailer. It's about four minutes long. I'll link it for you below in the description for the video. Uh, you see all kinds of neat stuff there. There's a lot of, uh, a lot more mobile suits that haven't been confirmed for the roster yet. Mostly they're mobile suits that appeared in the first game, so uh, that's that's good to see. I, I'm, I'm really hoping for more news of new mobile suits that we have not encountered yet. Uh, there have been some adjustments, like uh, like they're they're dealing with adjustments for uh, like there being too much stun lock in the beta, and also assault types now have super armor when they are boosting. I thought this was only going to apply in space, and then also to uh, assault type mobile suits that don't have stunning weapons at range, like the Gan. But if you pay close attention to uh, the trailer I'm gonna link, you'll see the G3 has super armor when it's boosting, and that thing dual wields bazookas. So, yeah, that that's gonna be crazy. Hopefully, that is not gonna be too much of a balance issue at launch. But we'll we'll see what happens. Uh, pretty much, the developers are gonna be relying on us to play test things for them. They they just make the changes. They don't test anything. <laughs> But anyway, I am super excited. Uh, I think for the first day, I'm going to be doing some live streaming for the game. Um, I am going to be struggling through the menus a lot, and I'm very OCD, so I'm going to be spending a lot of time tweaking my mobile suit and the settings and stuff. But uh, let's just uh, hang out and check out the game together. Um, the game is free to download, so you guys can go check it out too if you feel like uh, memorizing menus in Japanese and all that type of shit. And I think after that, I probably will not live stream the game any further than that because it is a, uh, it is not a game that lends well to live streaming because it's uh, it's very frustrating to play. I swear a lot, <laughs> and it's just not a good mood. So my model for the channel for this is I'm gonna try to do post commentary with very clean editing and all that type of stuff, and I'm I'm gonna make sure that I post good gameplay for you guys to see, like. Um, uh, this this game is purely player versus player, and when you have a game like that, it's just uh, it's just the nature of the game that you're gonna get your ass handed to you like a lot. So look forward to that. Uh, okay, and we haven't gotten to talk a lot, but I I am in contact with uh, our our old friends from Friday Night Gundam Fights, and hopefully we can get that going again. Um, lots of us are really old and working full-time jobs now, uh, such as myself. <laughs> uh, so we'll see if the scheduling works. Uh, we may not have it on Fridays. And then also, since um, there's no more energy system, we don't really have uh, timing restrictions anymore. It's not necessary that we all play on the same night. So we could uh, do it on a different night or just spread it out across different things and stuff like that. So uh, that should be really cool. Um, 
yeah, I have a lot of uh, commentary abilities now, and uh, now that we're using Discord, we might even be able to record like uh, podcasts and discussions and stuff like that too. That might be really awesome. So uh, yeah, just stick around in the channel if you want to see all that type of stuff. I am so excited to like uh, finally have this game uh, back with us. It's going to be fantastic. It is a fantastic game engine. So much fun, so much detail, and so much love that goes into it. And just uh, an absolutely incredible culture and community and stuff like that. It's going to be great. All right, guys, I think that's all I'm going to have for now. So thank you very much for listening, and we'll see you next time.